The flying pig is 26.2 miles. But keeping the route secure is the other marathon. Well, we're setting up, getting ready for a big weekend with the flying pig. 26 miles, but then if you multiply it all in square miles, it's a lot more. So yeah, it's a big event site to try and secure. Cincinnati Police Sergeant Greg Luton has headed up the marathon security for 14 years. We uh, take extreme measures to add a lot of police, a lot of visibility, uh, FBI, uh, we have SWAT team here, etc. that will be here this weekend to make sure that everybody's safe. There are enough officers to be all along the course, but police don't reveal exactly how many officers are on duty for the race. Security for marathons has been different since a single day three years ago. The Boston Marathon bombing was a reminder all major events have potential for trouble. It's affected the flying pig since then. You know, Boston, uh, what happened there changed all of our world forever. Iris Simpson Bush is the Flying Pig Race Director. She says runners and spectators should remember to bring everything in clear plastic bags, no backpacks. You will see bomb sniffing dogs. There will be tactical units around. There will be um, undercover personnel that you don't see. All of that is planned. It's not because of an imminent threat. It's just part of the security we live with these days. It's a lot of preparation, a lot of security, hoping it all pays off in the long run. Again, they want to stress this, no backpacks. In fact, they won't even take anything unless it's in a clear bag on the buses for the runners. So again, it's these clear bags, something like this. That's what they want to see. And it's not just for runners. They're asking spectators to do the same thing as well. What happens is somebody puts down their bag, then they have to bring in the dog, the dogs that sniff for the bombs and all that sort of thing. They say, just save yourself the trouble. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.